What is Ether Legends? It's a game, better yet, a collectible trading card game that can be played physically, meaning you can hold cards, buy packs, booster packs, you can play with friends and family in person. Um, it's also a digital collectible trading card game that you can play online. In this video, I'm going to share with you my vision, the company's vision, um, some of the guys who have had inputs into the game, into how it's going to be played, uh, utilizing blockchain technology, and why these things are important. I'm also going to be upfront with you that, you know, the things I say are probably going to be pretty raw, you know, not scripted and just things I'm shooting off my hip. So, you know, I invite you in, enjoy, let us know your feedback. So most of what's been done is actually the physical trading card game. We're going to get a little more into the digital side of it and tell you some of those features um, just because it correlates with you know what we're developing with smart contracts. It's what our um, token sale is all about and I think it really reflects on where we're trying to go in the vision but I don't want to leave out the physical aspects of the game which are just as important as any. It's about players. Ether Legends is solely focused on players and community coming together and having an amazing game with visual features, with blockchain technology, and ownership of digital content. You'll probably hear me say ownership of digital content 10,000 times because it's probably the most intriguing thing about applying gaming with blockchain technology. Can you imagine if you played World of Warcraft for 10 years, like I have, for example, and you could actually take all the time that you've invested and you could take a character and its items and its gear and the experience you've earned and sell it as independent digital assets. I mean, that would be amazing and unheard of. So let's talk about some of Ether Legends features aside from it being astonishing visually, um, aside from it being extremely fun, you know, engaging, lighthearted, you know, you see the artwork, you see the trading cards, they're cool. Um, so aside from all of that, you know, digital assets, let's talk about that a little bit. You know, having ERC-20 compatible tokens as your digital asset means that they are separate from Elementium, they're separate from the game, yet integrated into the entire ecosystem. Um, an another digital asset, which I think is one of my favorite key features, is actually experience that is earned. Let's say you know you played World of Warcraft for the last six months, you made it to level 110. Imagine that time you put in, you could actually sell that experience and experience alone. So on our platform, we actually devised a way that experience is a separate digital asset. It's its own token. So it can accumulate, you know, a, a, a number value, just like, you know, if I had one token, two token, three token, it, the experience will accumulate in that same fashion and will be a standalone digital asset that you can sell, trade with others. You know, one of the key things is initially you have to obtain it obviously by playing. Ether Legends gameplay is pretty awesome. Take a mix of the style of World of Warcraft 3v3 Arena. Throw that into a card game with a little bit of mix of, we'll say, Pokemon Go. And a little bit of Hearthstone. You know, think about it. You choose your three best characters or champions, right? Um, each card, you know, unlike other card games like Pokemon, they, they have like level one, level two, level, they, they make millions of cards, they're kind of useless and nobody really finds value in any of them or playability. And 
This, for instance, every single character card is almost like a hero, right? They all have a special ability. Um, they can all, um, they all actually have the same abilities, just they differentiate in those strengths of abilities and the elemental power kind of determines what levels of strength or, or what their strengths versus weaknesses are. I'm a gamer. I've played games since I was a little tiny kid. I played, you know, rock and roll racing by Blizzard. I played Warcraft. I played Warcraft 2. I played Starcraft and stay up for 80 hours with friends, you know, in college years. So, you know, there's a lot to offer when you're talking about digital assets, you're talking about players actually owning a piece of the market. I mean, that is the investment. The investment is as a part of this platform and as part of this game, you own all of the content as a player. And from being a player, I personally understand it and I see the benefit of you know, not having a centralized server, not having companies that own your data that don't let you do anything with your characters, your items, your time. You've invested into a game where you're beholden to the game. You can't do anything about it. So, again, as a player, I totally get it. I understand, you know, the vision of utilizing blockchain as a utility, specifically Ethereum with its you know, quote unquote, computing power. Um, but it's more than that. It's about an ecosystem that can drive a game. It's about each ind individualized trading card that's actually its own ERC-20 compatible token. Um, so having those aspects and rolling that in with a game or gameplay is absolutely crucial for the future of gaming where you know, I, I see it as gamers are going to be, you know, it's going to be more than a profession. It's going to be people making serious money, getting serious rewards, and then actually being able to take those to the market and do something with them. And I believe blockchain is going to be that specific technology that's going to take gaming to the next level.